Guys love talking about hitters. Time for another edition of the Hitters Meeting. Today's subject, Xander Bogarts. Look at what he has done in the that. last 13 games. My word, 462. OPS over 1,100, almost 1,200. 13 RBIs, eight extra base hits. Dero, Mike, what's working for Bogarts at the plate? Well, when we have Mike Lowell here, former World Series MVP for the Bo Sox. That's right. We have makes to sense. put, it only makes sense that we put a red sock up there. And I just love, I don't fall into one mantra, and you coach your son's baseball team, and I always think the skybox could be teaching moments. You take what a guy does, and you try and build off that, is the way I believe. You can't get a guy who holds his hands up here to bring him down here and feel comfortable, all these different things. The reason I say that is because there's this old school, new school mentality of, of trying to teach hitting on social media, and I don't feel it's fair. I feel like, Every guy does things a little bit different because if you watch him, he would yeah. scream what we were taught. Yeah, you can't. I, I don't just like boxing in a certain style. Yeah. Because I think some guys just can't do it that way. And, and maybe that style works for some players, but it's not everyone. This is, this is a case by case basis. Talk. Let's take, let's take, let's, let's go let's, into, let's go through Bogey Xander. right here because he is on a heater. Okay. Nine multi hit games in a row. They had Euclid on the air calling the game. He was their last guy to do it. They had Jim Rice call in. And what I love about Bogey is speak softly and carry a big stick, show up every day, play. He doesn't get enough love. S Rod, bring it up for me. Bring bring me up the OPS leaders boards, please. Last five years. Players with a 125 OPS plus or higher in each of the last five seasons. Mike Trout, Aaron Judge, Juan Soto, Mookie Betts, Bryce Harper, Freddie Freeman, Xander Bogart. Yeah, Why no, does he not get talked yes, about? No in one this talks light? about him in the light of those five guys in front of him. No one. No one. No one. He does, yeah, he's. He's quiet, and, and I tell you what, physically, when you see him, he's a lot bigger than people He's a big think. boy. He's big, and I think, you know, defensively, the metrics hurt him a little, but I don't think you get the, he gets the the compliments or the accolades for making the routine routine, play. routine ball. That's what I need a shortstop to do. Like, I need a shortstop when I know it's a it hit to him. I know he's going to turn the double play. I know the out's going to be made. Yeah. And he does that exceptionally well. So I, I'm, I'm not so sold on that his defense is alive. And I got to believe he's the captain in that clubhouse. I have to believe that the way he carries Did himself. you see the play in the postseason with the, with the cutoff and Aaron Judge when he looked at the third base coach before the throw came into center? To see if he was waving them. Yep. Like those are things that you can't teach. Where's that on? There's no metric for that. Yeah. And I think he brings a lot of intangibles to the table. But let's talk about tangibles. Let's talk about tangibles. Get me back into this tape right here. I want to take you back. 2013, right? Shows up to the big leagues. 20 years old. 20 years old, turning 21 during the postseason. Oops, he starts starting at third base the whole way through and rakes in the postseason, okay? But I just wanted to see, I know it's a little bit different angle, the maturation of a hitter. Has he done anything differently in these last nine years? So run this. The only thing I see is a guy that's more connected, right? Young, grinding. Run that back for me real quick, because it's kind of everything that we were taught and tried to believe in. So run this. He's going to give you a nice little leg kick right here. Pause. I mean, he's stacked. He's where you need to be. Now you just set the front foot down and you take the hands to the ball. Probably not into his legs as you'll see here in 2022, but still perfect fundamentally balanced swing right there. Little shorter stride down and through the baseball. And let's get into it, right? He's been raking. We'll get into a nasty side angle. Joe Ryan spins him a breaking ball. Middle of the plate, grand slam. But he's I mean, down on that baseball. I know it's feel versus real, but when you're watching it, it is a conscious effort to get on top of the baseball. It, it absolutely is. And that clip before, that's 96 in and off the plate. And he's also a guy that he's line to line D, D row. You know, lefties here, he can pull you, uh, he can pull you down the third baseline, he can knife one down the first baseline. And by the way, that's about, you know, 407, you know, sorry, it's a double, not so a pause. Homer, this. But, this is, this is what I see the difference from the 13 to 22. It's a little bit like he's more locked into his base, yes. and he's a little bit more behind the ball. I, I love looking at guys' heads when they start their load and when they make contact. So if we can run that forward slowly, let, let's you know take this, this 
span right here where he's a little bit behind. He starts his load, and when he makes contact, I mean, it's, what, six inches? You know, we're used to seeing some some guys are really mm, out yeah, there, and it's a foot and a half. Move. Yeah, you're trying to chase balls, and I think he does a great job. I mean, he did it early in his career, too, but I think it's what you say. It's the maturation of a hitter and understanding what I do well and how I can incorporate that on a consistent basis. Run that back real quick for me. Bader, nice job on the bait. Pause this. Here's the difference in my mind with the guy who tries to think, I'm going to get a little bit of a launch angle going right here. When you watch Xander Bogarts, I be, I've always felt like your bot, this hand was your steering wheel and this hand was your power hand for a right-handed hitter. Sammy Sosa said it in Turner Field during a rain delay when he was taking flips. I sat in there and watched him, okay? I said, what are you thinking? He said, this is my directional. This, is, this puts it in the parking lot. And I never came off that, right? Sammy Sosa's hitting 60. <laughs> it must work. Why not? But that whole idea of taking this hand down and inside the baseball and kind of bat head replacing that bottom hand is what I believe Xander's feeling. Whereas a lot of the guys now, instead of pulling it off their ear, there's this conscious effort for this bat to flatten and almost this top hand. And we're in a slot here instead of here. And I think style B may produce more home runs. It, it's style proven. A makes you a better hitter. Like, I, it, there's more of an attack mode. Run that. And, and what's slow. Yeah, and one thing. Watch his left hand. He's yeah, going to pull think this it. down towards the baseball. There. Stop. Back it up one more. There you go. Look at that bat path. It's coming here. It's not getting into this region and, right here. And, and, if, you, and if you go two clicks before where he's making contact, this is one point. One more. Right there. Even guys that think I'm coming down on the ball. I mean, Jim Tomey said not. his whole career said I, I thought coming down on the ball. When you make contact, unless you swing at a ball at your neck, because that's the only way you could get it, every ball, Gary Dembo told me this when he was hitting for hit on the upswing. He goes, every bad angle is like this. When you're making great contact, you are your idea is maybe try to get it there, but in reality, your bat is never level in the hitting zone. So that that in itself in itself creates a certain launch angle. So for me, we got to barrel the ball up, and then we'll see where it takes. And it. you have to ask yourself, what type of hitter do you want to see with the game on the line in the eighth or ninth inning? I don't want to see him. I don't want to see Freddie Freeman. I don't want to see guys that chase average. So this whole moniker that average doesn't matter. Yeah, I get it. But when the chips are on the line, average matters because this guy's going to put the ball in play and he's going to beat you in a variety of ways. Let's go. Give me a board versus lefties just to clean it up. And by the way, Harold Ramirez for the Rays. We haven't talked about him at all. He's crushed this year. Highest average versus left-handed pitchers this season. Minimum 100 plate appearances. Paul Goldschmidt, Bogey, Ramirez, Pujol. Look at Pujol. Yeah, take it now down. Take it back four years. Third in Major League Baseball since 2019. I mean, wow. I, I, I mean he's going to opt out and somebody's going to. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. He's. I, I believe he's a glue guy for that organization. Yeah, yep, I need too. him. They really do. Yeah.